It's at the end of Waihe'e Road, and I love this place. In fact, I'm going to have to go there pretty soon. And uh, <clears throat> how many of you guys like to go hiking? Say I. Hey, there we go. Healthy people, Hawaii. You know, exercise isn't always lifting weights and going to the gym and seeing yourself in the mirror and make sure, making sure you look a certain way. You know, exercise can be anything from doing exercising and working on your spirit, your mentality, how you think, how you view the world, your perspectives. Exercise can be repairing relationships. Exercise can be, yeah, running a marathon, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> um, but my most favorite way to kind of do a Hawaiian exercise, I just, I just call them huokai because that's what they are. They are. They're a journey that you're on. But my favorite huokais are to the ocean or to the waterfalls or to really kind of break myself out of, out of the norm or out of the grind because there's so much knowledge and a lot of spirituality that takes place on huokai. And they're unlike working out at the gym or, you know, counting to 15 as you're doing your reps. Of course, those exercises are great, but, you know, I think it's always important to throw something in the mix of your health because it's not just your body it's everything it's your uhane it's your mind it's how you think and it's your body as well that's what houses all of these great ideas or all of these great intentions so anyhow i took my friend here and we went on this journey up there we're both kind of going through this i cannot understand what's going on time and you know like how we, when you go on a, a trail and you think you're familiar with it enough to where you can kind of predict okay here's we pass those three hills, and there's going to be like two more hills, and then we're there. Oh, man, I swear, this hike just like changed on me, and it changes on me every now and then. Where I thought was three hills was like more like five. Where I thought, okay, get 20 minutes left was more like 40 minutes left. And it, those moments where you think, I'm almost there, but you really not. And then you kind of get it, and you see that mountain, and you feel, you realize that that's far away for me to touch that wall. Maybe I should turn around. Maybe I should just say, okay, mahalo, I'll come back tomorrow. But a lot of those moments, when you're, whether you're on a hike or in the gym or even just in life in general, they happen. You're there for a reason. Keep going. Keep, keep going. Kupuna say, what do they say? Holo mua. Kupuna say, ho'o manava nui. And what does that mean? I mean, yeah, it means to have patience, but really it means to endure endure and that's the greatest thing I gotta say about the Hawaiian people I feel that we have taught or are the lesson of Ho'omanawanui we've endured and we still here and we still sharing and I love that you guys like it so with that here's a here's a mele called Hamamai Ka'iyo <coughs> Ke hango paliona kola 